About to play a sold Let's out make a little oh, memory. I'm singing Top Gun. I'm singing Top Gun. Yes! So, Nick and I heard that at the O2 Arena, allegedly somewhere, there might be a secret, a secret room. And the legend says that the room was actually built for Michael Jackson, but we don't know if that's true. But I'm gonna let's run with that though. Let's say it was built for Michael Jackson. And it should be somewhere around here, so I'm trying to find it. I think we found it. I think we yeah, found it. Yeah, yeah. We, we might have found it. But there's a code, and allegedly the code changes. Oh, there's no code. Allegedly. Ooh! There's a code. Oh, is that the code? to Oh! How rad is it? Dang! A little private. It exists! Not only does it exist, but it is amazing. Nice! The fab room. The yeah. Michael Jackson's room. Oh, and another one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is crazy. This is pretty awesome. This is the most. This is the most rock and roll thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Wow. <laughs> Yo, so this is Mr. Nick Sang. Hello. Nick, what do you do? What do I do? I know you're playing keyboard right now. I'm playing this uh, new... But you don't usually do that. No, 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 this is what I do. I'm a guitarist. I play guitar with Busted with this wonderful man, Kovas. Slaying it every night. We're the, we're the backing team. We're the backing team. We're the backing team. Three guys in the front and us in the back just Holding crushing it. Just holding it. They're nothing without us. They can't do it without us. Can we say that? <laughs> I'll just maybe just edit maybe that out. A bit strong. <laughs> maybe it's a little bit strong, but he's just crashing it on stage every night. Such a boss. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so, just arrived in Birmingham after tonight's show, which went really well. Um, yeah, it went super well. I haven't been making videos for a while because I haven't realized that tonight because everything's kind of like settled into like a, um, not a formula, but like a pattern. And so I felt like there was nothing new to film. So that's why I didn't film, but I just realized that, um, tonight was the third to last show. We have two shows left and then the tour is over. And then there's a few days gap and then we do Isle of Wight and then I fly back to LA. And I might come back later on in the year and do some more stuff with the boys, but 
this is my first tour and it's been nothing short of I don't I don't think I know the adjectives to adequately explain it's been phenomenal it's been an unbelievably good experience challenging at times um a little uncomfortable at times but not really crazy but like mentally quite challenging especially performing in front of so many people and the camaraderie between the guys and um meeting the fans and just this whole this crazy story being them being gone for 12 years me listening to the music 12 years ago them coming back seeing how much the fans appreciate that seeing how the fans have grown up with the band like I've grown up you know like I was 16 when I started listening to them on 29 now um and probably the same goes for so many of the fans in the in the audience that's just this weird like full circle moment and this incredible story that culminated now in this tour where everybody is so stoked to be on the on the tour the boys are all enjoying it so much because they've been waiting for it for so long and it, the time had to be right but now it is right and it's happened now and it was phenomenal What up? We're back in Birmingham. Um, last show of the tour, which is so weird, man. The last show tonight, and then we've got a few days off, and then we play the Isle of Wight, which is going to be the last show before I go back to LA for a while. Um, but flip, it's, it feels really weird that it's coming to an end. We we're all talking about it, and we're saying it feels like we've been on tour forever, but it's because we started rehearsals like two months ago. So the whole process feels really long, but like, the shows actually went by surprisingly fast. What do you think, Nick? Hello! For the record, he doesn't actually speak like that. He just, he just, that's his go-to on camera. How do you do? No, come so on! So nice to meet you, everybody! <laughs> Feeding the stereotype. But, um, yeah, last show feels really weird. It feels like it's been forever. Um, we're all kind of ready for a break as well, but it's gonna be, it's gonna suck when it's over. But, it's good too. Good timing. I just woke up from a hardcore nap, hardcore, as you can see, and I have to immediately get on the stage for sound check. So this is gonna be interesting. Tour life. This is how it goes. So sound checking post nap. It's never the best. 